Well, episode 38. Not quite live, not quite the other side of the world, and not quite a fresh piece of blank paper for sound effect purposes, but close enough for podcasting. You know, this week as I was, and by the way, (coughs) you can hear I'm a little under the weather. This week I was traveling, um, which I do often, and I, I, I got to this hostel and I mean, that, that's always the fun. I mean, you, you never stay at a hotel. You, you miss the whole fun. Um, I, I met a couple of, now again, gay means happy. And the reason that I, I maintain that is, um, well, aren't, aren't there a lot of songs? Um, oh, George, there was a famous poem about being gay. Uh, something about gaiety, and I, anyhow, I, I just I, I I refuse to sexualize the word gay, so it means happy. So anyhow, there were a couple homosexuals, and and you know, all right, I was friendly to the guys, but I think that one of them thought that I was going to try to steal his boyfriend. Um, you know. I mean, I, 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 I really tried to be p- polite to the guys, um, but, you know, when, when you're so insecure that you're worried about someone who lives in another country stealing your boyfriend, somewhere you went wrong, some, somewhere, um, I never want to be in any kind of relationship where I'm worried about normal friends I meet, normal people I meet on the road of life, stealing my lover. I, if, if I think that, that some, if I'm have to be worried that everyone I meet is going to try to steal my girlfriend or my wife or, you know, if I'm worried that someone's going to steal and take that person away from me, somewhere, somehow, I made a wrong turn. I did something wrong. And, and the thing is, not everybody agrees that they've taken a wrong turn when they end up in a wrong place like that. And so, I, you know, again, I'll, I'll openly have an honest and candid and an open-eared, open-minded discussion about the homosexuality thing or any other matter, I mean, with anyone or any topic. But you've got to admit, you know, the, the people I discuss with have to admit, you know, where they've, you know, maybe taken a wrong turn on stuff. I mean, there, there are certain places in life you just don't want to be. And, you know, one homosexual guy being worried that some straight guy is going to take away his homosexual lover uh, from, you know, across the ocean is not a place that anyone wants to be. If you get there, if you get to that point where you're able to be worried about that somewhere, you took a wrong turn in your life and you've got to be able to admit that. And if you can't admit it, face it, deal with it, find it, there's nothing else to talk about until you do that first. And that's really, you know, I mean, you know, we've, we've all got our problems and our issues and our challenges and our stupid stuff in life. We've all got our stupid things that we do. And we sometimes we just need people to give us a good old smack in the face and tell us to, you know, man up or woman up or whatever. Act like an adult. And, and, and not, you know, not push our problems away, push our problems to the side to a point where they still get in the way. But, you know, we can tell ourselves we don't have to deal with our problems, but everybody else still sees it just hanging off our lapel. So, uh, this week, I've, I've really taken from AsiaWithLove.net, and I'm putting it into a different... I'm starting to post pictures, and I'm starting to get more serious about... As I say, last week, I finally got the book, Opening Memoirs, up and, and, and going, and it'll be here... October 17 and I'm I'm finally putting up pictures from Asia. You know, from Asia with love, there's social media to follow. I think it's it's 
it's Asia W Love is the it's the namespace on most of the social media. We're talking Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, oh Pinterest, I believe. But you can go to FromAsiaWithLove.net and you can see it. You can subscribe and you get discounts in the store. You get access to the daily letters. But the social media stuff is free. So if you want to see just lots of pictures of what stuff is like in Asia, just want Asia pictures, there you go. I'm putting them up almost daily now. It's a, it's a commitment that I've made. I'm going to go out with my phone and my camera. I'm going to take lots of pictures and I'm going to start trying to put stuff up daily and regularly. So that's that's something that I'm finally getting into that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, traveling this week, I made a new friend and I'll just call her Shelly. And I just wrote a post about Shelly. Um, I have not gotten the audio done yet. The audio will be coming, but I, I want to make, you know, for my voice clears up first, but it was, I think it was called, what was it called? Let's, let's go find out what it was called. You go to an uh, awesome website here, jessesteel.pacificallytimes.com. Okay. The letter, why I smile on airplanes. And I, I, I read this girl, um, an old post I, I wrote back in, I think, 2012. It's, uh, was it the dog or the jellyfish, I think is what it was. And she said, wow, Jesse, this is, this is an awesome article and we've got to share this with the world. This is great. And talking with her about where, where she was in her life and where she was going and hearing her give me feedback into my own life, I really begin to realize how important it is to open our hearts. You know, be yourself, lay down your stuff, you know, whatever, whatever little nonsense in your life, whatever you have in your life that has bad results, no matter how good you think it is, no matter how good you can justify the stuff you do in your life is, if it has bad results, no matter how good it is, if it has bad results, let it go. Let go of anything, no matter how good it is, if it has bad results. And, and open your heart with other people to share the good, honest feelings in your heart that you have about you know, different things. Um, may, maybe you have uh, some, some feelings about uh, a new law. That, that you really think uh, should have a, a looking into. And you ha- kind of have been shy to talk about it. I don't mean go get angry and we got to change the law. But if, if, if there are, um, I, I suppose it could be a Google manifesto. Maybe, maybe uh, you've got to write the Google manifesto. That guy opened up his heart. He got fired, but he's famous and he's made a lot of changes. You know, Lay down your stuff and open your heart. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep saying it, but I'll, I'll just say it one more time. Lay down your stuff and open your heart. So having said that, I'm just going to get to the point. Don't be alarmed over politics. Politics are almost always predictable in an unpredictable way. The more you study history, the less you'll be surprised by any curveballs politics notwithstanding. Many people try to explain or understand political leaders whom they despise, but it's difficult to understand someone you don't respect, and it's difficult to respect someone you fear because you misunderstand. So don't try to understand today. Try to understand what happened yesterday. Try to know what happened yesterday. Don't be alarmed by today's bad news Live today, but study the past. Then, life just might be less alarming. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com